Hello and greetings from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, no, I'm not from Alaska. My name is Trey. I'm a nurse practitioner from North Alabama. Uh, I decided to make this channel so people could follow my journey on my first travel nurse practitioner assignment. I couldn't find a whole lot of information for nurse practitioners wanting to take locums in Alaska, so I decided I'll use this experience and maybe help somebody else. Well, I'll start you on my journey. I started in Huntsville, Alabama International Airport. Uh, had a four hour weather delay, and if you've ever traveled somewhere with three tickets, three connecting flights, and you ever get a delay, you know you're in trouble. Uh, so my day started off with a 9.30 flight. Got boarded on the plane, lightning strikes around us. We sat there for 30 minutes, and they offer you the opportunity to get off the plane. If an airline ever offers you the opportunity to disembark from the plane, imagine being there a while. Well, four hours later, we finally left. So now I have missed my connecting flight at Dallas-Fort Worth. They rescheduled that and actually rescheduled my Seattle ticket also. So I thought everything was gonna be good. So I get from Dallas to Seattle and I have just a couple hour layover until as soon as I land and turn off airplane mode and get a text from Alaska Airlines that says your flight, which was supposed to leave at 9.45 p.m., has been rescheduled for 2 a.m. So now I have several, several hours after being up for almost 24, and you try to sleep in an airport, it's almost impossible. So, but we finally made the airline, got on the plane at two, and I arrived here in Anchorage uh, about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I ended up contacting my uh, Triton supervisor that's over the plant where I'll be working and advised him that I was, you know, here, finally here. They were curious why I was a day late. And I said, well, it took me over 24 hours to get here. But everybody's been really accommodating. They got me to my room and I was surprised this is how nice this hotel is. Anytime somebody's gonna put you up for two weeks, much less pay you your daily rate for two weeks under quarantine, you wonder what kind of hotel is it gonna be. This is probably one of the nicest hotels in Anchorage, and that's what my uh, Uber driver also says, that, oh, they're putting you up in an expensive uh, hotel. So I was kind of excited about that. And you first thing you notice when you walk in the room, there's a gift bag, a big gift bag on the bed from uh, Triton Seafoods of a yoga mat, water bottle, a list of uh, YouTube channels for yoga, stretching, in-room workouts, uh, mental games. They want you to stay uh, physically and mentally sharp while you're quarantined under solitary confinement pretty much for two weeks. Uh, COVID's kind of got us in this state where we have to know we're not infected before we take anything into the plant. They also had me a big bag of uh, chips and candy bars and snacks and granola and a Keurig coffee pot in my room, which I can't lie, I was worried about not having, and a whole case of coffee. So if this doesn't scream, you got a company that you're working for that will take care of the employees, nothing will. And they also have us a meal plan where we get all our meals room service. We can't leave uh, our room. Uh, we can't order out. They don't want any contagion in or out of your room. Uh, not to mention that they come around and check our temperatures twice a day. Now, I did have a negative COVID swab before I left, but I'll have another one repeated, I think, next week, sometime in my first seven to 10 days here uh, to make sure I haven't developed it while I'm sitting in this isolated room. The food's been really good. I'll, I'll show you a picture of my last night's dinner right through here somewhere. I'll, I'll put drop it in. Uh, it was a uh, part of a, a flat iron steak which when I saw on the menu, I'm like, oh, hotel flat iron steak, room service. But no, it was excellent. The food has all been excellent. I have no complaints. But I don't really have a whole lot else to show you. I'll try dropping some pictures from my window that overlooks the water. Uh, but so far, so good. I can't complain. The company I went, went through uh, to get here, they've all been super supportive and great support staff, and they really work really hard. I also got to give a shout out to Alaska Board of Nursing. I've made a contact down there that's been in the process of getting my final full authorization nurse practitioner license here. Right now I'm operating on an emergency courtesy license, but for other circumstances, I went ahead and did the full practitioner 
state license so I could get all my full prescribing rights. But that, that's about all I got right now, I think. If you have any questions or anything you want to know about that I can find out for you, just drop them in the comment. Just please subscribe and like this video. Uh, that'll kind of help me knows, know how many of these videos I need to release. I'll probably be back in a couple of days because uh, there's not much to update you from my hotel room. But until then, until then, watch out for these jobs, do your research, and I'll update you in 24 hours if something comes up, 48 hours if nothing happens. See you then.